guys welcome back to my channel or if you guys are new here hello i'm keaton so today's video is going to be a daily vlog per usual as i've said i'm getting back into vlogging and i hope that you guys are enjoying it i've just been kind of like spamming you guys with content so i have some other videos that are not vlogs coming up i definitely want to film a staples closet video for some reason lately i've been getting questions like how do I build a closet of staples or like how do I build pieces that are just like I'm always going to keep so I wanted to film that video for you guys I think I'm actually going to film it tomorrow but anyway besides the point we're talking about today I just woke up and made my morning coffee as usual I also kind of really want to put those little like eye things on because I feel like my eyes look tired one second I don't know what brand this is because I took it out of the packaging but I really like them and I keep them in my fridge because Obviously, I want them to be cold. I don't have an ice roller, um, you know, that you roll your face out with in the morning. But normally, it's just my eyes that are puffy anyway. So, I gotta do these. Oh my god, it's freezing. I did a face mask last night too, and my skin feels great now that I've woken up with it. Like, it feels amazing. I used the... Um, zit stick a pour back i will link everything by the way except for these because i have literally no idea what brand they are <laughs> i have no idea where they came from this is the vibe this morning what we have going on for today it's thursday and it, today is like actually my busiest day this week so i've got twin flames work obviously this morning i'm gonna be working on that all day until I have to leave and go to an event tonight so there is a glow recipe event if you guys haven't heard of glow recipe it's like a skincare brand um and it's gonna be really cute it's spring formal theme so i got a dress for my friend that i really want to like try on and see if it's cute um so i'll show you guys that but it's like a spring formal thing i'm also gonna go meet with my manager before we go to the event because we're gonna talk about like different goals and things like that and i'm just super excited about living here in la and like having so many more opportunities i never really thought that it would make that big of a difference i guess like work wise or just like friendship wise like i was always like oh like i have friends wherever like doesn't matter and now i'm seeing like it really makes a big difference which i think is like what translates to you guys like how much happier i am here um it's just different you know so anyway we have those things today and so i'm gonna vlog all of that brandon's actually coming with me to my event and i'm really excited about it so i love bringing him to events he's like my little like my little person because you know events are kind of hard like you know if you don't know anyone then it's kind of weird also wait let me give you guys an aritzia haul um i haven't given you guys like a clothing haul in a minute and i went to aritzia oh in the last vlog where i was going shopping at americana brand i went to aritzia and they had things but not in my size so i ordered them online so i got this tube top and it's really cute it's literally just a white ribbed tube top um i really love it i just think like it's clean simple and then i also got these linen pants i actually got them in a size up because when i was in the store the small ones were like tight on my butt and i don't like i don't know i just don't like that it's not my vibe i don't like when things are like tight on your butt and then like wide leg like right on your thigh i think it looks weird so i got them in a medium and they're a little looser but now they fit like lower almost like lie rise <laughs> low rise vibes so it's really cute i really like it and i love all white looks you guys know this because i've been like posting all white looks recently like ever since i moved here it's just a thing i feel like with my hair i really really like it so i'm actually really excited because i have a trip um coming up and i haven't traveled anywhere like tropical i feel like in a while and like had to like plan out tropical outfits i also really need to work out i mean i know that i i know that i don't like i know it's like oh love yourself and like do whatever you want you know but if i don't feel super confident in myself it's just not gonna be a good time like i don't want to be the girl on the trip where everyone's like really loving their life and i'm like oh like don't put me in this so i don't know i need to like figure myself out either like mentally like deal with myself or go to the gym and like stop feeling bad it's not that i want to like lose weight or like look skinnier it's literally just that like i'm not used to looking less toned and i look less toned right now because i literally haven't worked out in so freaking long so it's really bad anyway that is my morning update i'm going to go get on my meeting it is in 40 minutes but i have some work to do before i hop on that so i'm gonna leave these guys on for a while let them wake me up and then i'll see you guys in a minute okay it's one o'clock now and my favorite thing to do is to get ready for an event like six hours early i don't know why i'm like such a freak i don't know what's wrong with me i mean actually i mean i'm not weird 
I feel like in LA I have to do everything so much earlier than I did like anywhere else because it takes so long to get somewhere so like I have to meet my manager at 5 and so that means I'm gonna have to leave by like 4 15 to like get to where she's at which means if it's one right now I only have four hours <laughs> Ready? which seems like a really long time but I just am a mess anyway why do I even why am I explaining this to you you guys know me you guys get me anyway this is the dress how cute is it isn't it really giving spring formal like that was the attire dress code and I really feel like it's giving that like it's so cute this is like the famous Zara dress on TikTok but I borrowed it from my friend Lauren because I saw that oh my god I saw that she had it and I I'm running out of clothes here because I just didn't know that there was going to be like so many events that I'm going to. <laughs> I'm so annoying, but I just really have like run out of like just pieces that I haven't worn yet. And I definitely had to wear a dress and I normally don't wear a dress. So I just thought this was perfect. I love it. I think it's so freaking cute. You can see my skims in the back. Oh, I have to tuck that in or something because that's not cute. But I really really like it um, and then I think for my hair I want to do something with like my hair up in like one of those like old school not old school but, like I really want to do like a 90s bun type vibe I just don't know how to do it so that's why I'm getting ready so early because I'm like if I just take my time I won't be so stressed I also have to go to Target and pick up a birthday present for Hallie um so that's also why I'm getting ready early because I have to go run some errands before I go anywhere so yeah anyway that's the vibe um I really kind of want to do my hair first I really feel like that's what I should do so let's try and do that I am genuinely laughing because now I realize why I take four hours to get ready because I just, I decided I'm not doing my hair first, by the way. I feel like I need to do my makeup first, but I am sitting in a bar stool in my bathroom. I have hot Cheetos. I have my water bottle. I have my iPad set over here so I can watch a show. Like this is like a full on process. And now I'm realizing this is why it takes me so long because this is like my me time. I feel good about this situation right now. Honestly, you guys should try this. Like one day, do your makeup, like when you're going somewhere or something and you like have to do your makeup, set everything up, like take your sweet time, do full glam, get a snack, get some water, put your TV show on. Honestly, it's like life changing. And I've been doing this a lot lately because I just had different events. I, I've been like, oh, I wanna take my time today and get ready. And so <laughs> that's, this is just what I've been doing. I'm gonna do like a fun eyeshadow look today. So I'm gonna show you guys the inspo versus like how it's gonna come out. It's not gonna be exact because I am not like a makeup artist and I don't have the exact shades that I need, but I think it's gonna turn out really cute. I'm just going, I'm kind of going for like 90s vibes. Like I really wanna give like a 90s hair. I just feel like this dress is so cute and like I could pin my hair up like all, I don't know. I just wanna go for like an old school prom look if that makes sense. That's how I wanna feel tonight, so. That's what we're going for. I am also going to do my eyeshadow first. I have all of these eyeshadow palettes. I think I have six right here because I'm trying to find the exact shade for the makeup look that I want. And this palette is like one of my favorites. If you guys like different colors, I don't know who this is by. I guess it's by Sample Beauty. It is the plush palette and it's gorgeous. Um, and it has really, really pretty like vibrant colors. Like the colors are stunning in it and it's so pigmented so let me show you guys the inspo on my pinterest i have a um album or whatever called a look and it's where i get like all my inspo for just like fun makeup looks and this is the one that i really want to do for tonight i wish it would focus there we go it's pink and orange and it's just so gorgeous with like a really like nice juicy corally lip and I don't know I think it's so fun but that's why I'm doing my makeup first and I'm gonna do my eyes first because I could do this makeup look and it could really look so disgusting and ugly so if it does that's gonna be kind of sad but we'll see I look pretty spooky because I have no face makeup on and just these eyes 
but I actually really like it. I kind of took my own take on it because I felt like the pink when I was doing it was too vibrant. So I made it like a little bit duller and it's like orange fading into pink. I don't know. I really like it and it like matches. I'm wearing the dress under here, but it matches the dress really well. And so I think that it's going to be cute. I'm going to do the rest of my face. I also used, they definitely don't sell us anymore. Like the packaging of this is like six years old, but this is a Kylie Cosmetics um, eyeshadow. Like, I don't even know. It's just a cream eyeshadow that she has. And it's in the shade Northern Lights. And it is the most gorgeous, like, pigment in color. It's really everything. And I've never used it. And I've had it for, like, six years. Because I used to buy every Kylie Cosmetics drop because I'm a psycho. Um, I mean, I still kind of do that. But that's the eye update. I don't even know what eyeshadow to tell you I use. Because I use, like, six of these eyeshadow palettes. So I'm going to do the rest of my face now. My makeup is done. Except for my lips. I'm going to try on a lip color with you guys. But... I am so happy with how it turned out. Like it actually looks so cute and I'm so surprised. So normally I do the same lip color every single time I do my makeup, but I really want to base it off of the Pinterest photo. Sorry the camera's so shaky. Um, but I really want to base it again off of this photo. So she really just has like a pinky kind of natural lip with like a bunch of gloss. So I just went in my um, makeup room and like swatched all of these i love the color of this lipstick it is one of my favorites this is a tom ford lipstick and this is in the shade Paradiso, i think um and then i also have this lipstick by laura mercier it's a matte lipstick and this is in the shade click and then i also have this gloss from laura mercier and this is in the shade rose syrup i'm going to uh try this matte lipstick this is or i'm going to use this as like a lip liner but this is the matte lipstick by laura mercier and let's see how it looks i feel like it's too coral <laughs> like it's so freaking bright compared to my eyeshadow like everything else is way more muted i'm taking the other end of this and i'm gonna try and blow this out because i don't like it like you can see it's like literally neon and my eyes are not okay these colors are too pink i'm gonna have to go in with like a more nude i did my lips off camera because i was panicking trying to find a lip color but this is it and i think it suits it so well so i did my regular i had to go back in with the normal lip liner that i use this is the Kylie Cosmetics lip liner in the shade Souffle, which is no longer sold. It's the most annoying thing because it's the only lip liner I use. But this morning, I actually ordered the new Refi or, yeah, Refi Beauty lip liners that I've seen everywhere. I ordered them in two shades because I wanted to find one similar um, when this one is, like, used up i want to be able to have one that i can go to so anyway i lined my lips just with the lip liner and then i left the center blank and i added in this super pink gloss which is the rose syrup one by laura mercier and i think it looks great like i feel like it looks very spring super fun and guess what you guys it's 2 30 so it took me an hour and a half to do my makeup and like get ready which is insane but I told you guys, it takes me forever. So now we're gonna move on to the hair. I have to curl my hair and then I have to style it. So that's gonna literally take me an hour. But I will obviously be bringing you guys along with me on the get ready process. I'm doing my hair now. And so I'm gonna curl all of my hair. That way I can style it up and have like little curls hanging out of like the bun I'm gonna do. But I've been actually getting questions on how I curl my hair lately, which is very random because I feel like I've just gotten into a really nice routine. So this is the curling wand that I use. This is the Kristen S curling wand. I love this. Like I'm in love with it. It's the perfect like width and it's really, really nice. Even if you have um, extensions or no extensions, I don't know. I just really like it. It also rotates. I've personally never rotated it, but um, that way you don't have to like do your hair, like your hand all weird when you're curling your hair. The, I can't touch it right now because it's hot, but this uh wand rotates like this you can like have it straight and just like put the hair on it anyway i'm gonna show you really quickly what i do i feel like there's only one thing different that i do than anyone else like it's different for curling my hair but anyway take the barrel i mostly do them outwards but i just twist it up like this i don't separate it or anything to where i make it like big i'll hold it here for a minute um but i'll alternate going inwards towards my face and then outwards i'll hold it here i don't hold it for two too long and i also love like day two curls with this but 
when I take it off, I always hold the end and then I pull it out like that. So it like loosens it up immediately, like right when I pull it off of the wand and it looks like that. Normally I do bigger chunks, but because that one was close to my face, that's what it looks like. And then this is how all the rest of the hair looks like. So I'll hairspray that and then I leave it for like 30 or so minutes and then I'll brush it out normally if I'm like leaving it down or something. Today I'm not even leaving it down, so it doesn't matter. I'll probably leave it up in these little tight curls, but I will mostly just leave it like this and that's basically how it looks and then I go in with a brush and brush it out once it's done but that's what I do and then I also use a heat protectant <gasps> who just rang my doorbell you look so handsome oh my goodness you look so cute I love it if you couldn't tell Brandon is home <laughs> so I'm gonna finish curling my hair and then I will Come back to you guys when I actually try and do like a cute updo. This is the vibe. I don't have my hair up yet. Like I just kind of wrapped it up because I was trying to see what I want to do. But I didn't brush my curls out clearly. That's why they look like a lot right now. But um, I wanted to play around with my hair. I definitely want to leave maybe the front pieces down. But I want it to be like this, you know? Like I want it to look like... 90s vibe like super messy very cash maybe pull some of these pieces out too like these little curlies honestly this would be so much better if i had a hair person in here to like do this okay i think what i'm gonna do is like put this scrunchie around these pieces of hair so it looks like a bun right but then i'm gonna pull everything out of the bun because i think this chunk of hair is too big i think i need to do something more like this i also have these they're like these little bitty clips and like they could be really cute oh that's kind of cute it is giving 90s i will say wait you guys this is really cute and if you hate it i don't care this one's too long though it's gotta be pinned i'm gonna post this look later on instagram and you guys are gonna be like oh my god hair tutorial please but how can i explain this i literally just wrapped my hair up with a scrunchie all i have to do is curl it though and then it looks cute so <gasps> wait you guys i'm actually feeling it this is a vibe i am so happy like this is a vibe like this is the dress my boobs are kind of flying out of it but i love it so much so i'm gonna actually show you guys i'm not gonna flash you guys i swear on my life um but i'm gonna show you guys what i'm using on my chest i'm gonna go in with this loving tan what is this bronze shimmer i've had this for a while and i'm not gonna lie i don't use it that much but i use it I don't know whenever I have like stuff like this where I need a little bit of tan and a little bit of glow you guys can see it like makes me look so glowy but it also adds like a really really subtle tan not to where like if you put it on you're like oh my god it doesn't match the rest of my body it like blends really easily I love this stuff and then the brush I'm using is um, a KKW beauty brush but they don't I mean they sell these I think probably on Amazon okay oh my god the lighting there we go you guys can see a little bit better but hair is done i love this dress so much i'm literally wearing uggs to walk to the car and i'm holding my heels because i really don't like these heels very much but i have to wear them so this is the outfit brandon's coming with me as my little date and we're gonna go and i'm gonna meet my manager beforehand and then i'm gonna go to the event. This is our devoured nachos, tacos, everything. We just had a beautiful meeting with Kimberly and Mallory. I am back from the glow recipe event i actually used their serum tonight i actually really like the way it makes my skin feel so i did their new strawberry serum it's for like acne prone skin which i have acne prone skin so that's what i used tonight and then i did a little moisturizer i did an eye cream i'm obsessed with the eye cream i've been using lately it is the charlotte tilbury eye cream it's just like the perfect you can even see like how i feel like you can tell how dewy it is underneath my eyes i'm just obsessed with it um and then i am putting on my laneige lip mask 
I just recently rebought this. I actually had it like a year ago or years ago actually. And I hadn't repurchased in a while when I ran out and now I'm like back obsessed with it. The event was so freaking cute you guys. Like I loved it. It was a spring formal so I was kind of nervous. I was like is everyone else gonna follow the theme because I'm following the theme and everyone did and everyone was like all dressed up like it was prom and they had the guy um if you guys remember Casey Musgraves one time posted on her Instagram story and it was Tom well, one hour studio or something like that and it was like this older guy and he has like a photo studio and he takes photos of everyone and I don't know, it was just really cool because they had him there at the Glow Recipe event and he's just like super iconic now because Casey Musgraves basically just like blew him up and like made him super cool and like, I don't know, he just like takes photos of everyone out. It's just so cool. So he was there, I got new skincare and I also got this little chocolate bar. This is the Strawberry Shortcake Chocolate Bar. It says it's white chocolate strawberry shortcake and I love strawberries i love white chocolate and i love candy in general so we're gonna give this a taste test i'm also in my skims collection right now and it's so soft this is the boyfriend collection i love it i mean i love everything from skims but oh my god there are real like dried strawberries in here like chunks there's literally actual strawberries and shortcake in here. <gasps> this is like the best chocolate bar I've ever had. Oh my god. I'm literally gonna link this because this is fire. Like I would 100% buy this again just for myself. I was gonna end the vlog here but I'm going to Hallie's birthday tomorrow. So I figured why not vlog because you guys haven't seen Hallie in a minute. Oh my god, I just blacked out eating that chocolate bar. Like, it was so good. Anyway, I'm gonna go to sleep. Um, it's literally what time is it? 10 o'clock, but I'm gonna wake up early and I'm gonna get ready and go to her brunch and I'll take you guys with me. I don't know what else I have planned tomorrow, I don't have much else land but i'm excited to take you guys with me to brunch so i'll see you guys in the morning good morning i'm back in my bathroom in my setup i'm literally sitting in my chair with my coffee and my heating pad and my ipad i'm telling you this is the way to like live your life just make every experience just great for you i'm doing my makeup um at what time is it 7.35 in the morning. This is my current favorite primer. This is the Rare Beauty Primer. I know you guys aren't like really zoomed in because this isn't really a makeup tutorial. If you guys want a makeup tutorial like updated like every day, you guys need to go watch my updated um, go to makeup tutorial. I literally just uploaded one. I also know that I uploaded a lot and I feel like um, you guys just haven't caught up to my uploading as of late, but, but I've got lots of new content for you guys to check out. I'm so excited because I'm getting my brows laminated next week and they look crazy right now, so I need them to be fixed. Okay, this is my outfit for Hallie's brunch. She wanted everyone to wear yellow, so I am wearing the cutest little spring outfit. This dress is from For Love and Lemons. Um, I actually got it at the Revolve Social Club, so I will link it. And then this jacket is from Revolve. It's pretty old. It's no longer sold, so I'll link one that's similar. This bag is also from Revolve, but it's no longer sold. I mean, it's cute. I need to get a new white bag to like go with outfits like this because... I don't like that it has this like print on it, but I like the style, like this little handle. Anyway, and then these boots are like from Forever 21, I think, from like a couple years ago. And then I took this ribbon and put it in my hair so it looks very girly and I'm gonna go to brunch. Okay. <laughs> Look at your little, oh my <laughs> goodness. You're so cute, Fergie. Yeah, We're at brunch yeah. and we've got our little, what are these, hibiscus lemonades? Lemonade. So cute. We got street tacos. They look so bomb. Hallie got street tacos. She's sniffing them. She's checking them out. She's sniffing them, trying to see if they're poisonous. Hi guys, 
guys i'm back home from brunch it's literally i think it's like six o'clock it's 606 i left this morning at what time did i leave 9 30 and i got back at 4 45 so i got all cleaned up i washed my hair and i am about to self tan so i figured i would kind of walk you through like my skincare a little bit and then because i've been using so many different products i've gotten so many new skincare items that i love and so i'm going to do my skincare and i'm also going to do my like self tanning routine not necessarily going to show you guys but i'm going to tell you guys what products i use and like what works best for me um because i feel like i get questions on that a lot so first i'm going to tell you guys the self tanner that i've been using i mean i alternate self tanners a lot but I normally always kind of go back to Loving Tan. This is the two hour express in dark. I actually really would love to try the platinum one because I hear it's really amazing. But this is what I've typically used for like the past couple years. And then I will also alternate from this with filter by Molly May. I love that self tanner as well. I love them both equally. I just alternate like it doesn't, it's literally just like whatever mood I'm in, I go for one. So today I'm just feeling this right now. So I'm going to also use this. This is the Tanlux The Body. Um, these are illuminating self-tan drops. So I've actually never used these ones for my body, but I have used the ones for my face. And I use the ones for my face every single night to self-tan. I used to obviously not self-tan my face because it just always ended up looking crazy. But the self-tanner by Tan Lux is so good and it just blends so well so i'm just really excited about that so i'm gonna go in right now and i'm going to self tan my body and then i'll show you guys the steps that i do after because i obviously can't get naked wow so clearly i'm darker um i have my little robe on like this so that i can show you guys what i do for my chest so if you guys are like me and when you self tan for some reason my chest area and my neck i think it's because i wash my face so much in the water like every night in morning when the water comes down i feel like it just washes off quicker so after i do all of the self tan i go in with this this is the tan Lux the water it is a hydrating self tan water so i go in with this and i'm gonna just just do a little bit of that and i'm gonna let it dry i do it only on my chest and then i will also do it on my hands i put lotion all over my hands and then i spray over it and then i go about my day um this is the tan Lux the body i want to try this on my like on my chest but i don't know if it's gonna like i don't know i don't know if it's gonna be a mess or not so maybe i shouldn't um i also spray this on my feet so i do my feet and my chest and my hands with this because it's easiest um, now I'm going to do some skincare with you guys. So this is what I do lately, or this is what I've been doing lately at night. So I'll go in with the serum first. This is my favorite serum. Um, it's the Sunday Riley CEO Glow. I love this stuff. I also have been going in with this one by Charlotte Tilbury. It is the Collagen Super Fusion Facial Oil. Um, and it has like a collagen fusion in it, which is what I really like, especially for my face. But for today, I'll kind of like alternate but this is like my holy grail so i'm gonna go in just do an oil i feel like doing an oil like this first before moisturizer or anything else feels really nice on my skin like i feel like i don't know it just works best with me these are the two moisturizers i've been using they're both from charlotte tilbury i'm really loving their skincare right now so this is the night one and this is the day one usually if it's like later at night and i've had a lot of makeup on all day which i mean i had makeup on today but it wasn't crazy heavy i go in with the night one but i'm gonna go in with the day one right now and if you're not into like a little bit of a like thicker moisturizer they have a light version of this which is also really great if you want to use it for like daytime but this really isn't even like that thick or anything so going in with this moisturizer oh my gosh my skin just feels so good normally when i put the moisturizer on i will go in with this tan Lux the face this is for tanning my face but because i haven't eaten dinner yet i know if i put the sub tanner on and then i go and eat dinner I'm going to have a white ring around my mouth from eating my food. It does it to me every single time and I always forget. So I'm not using this right now. I'll probably add it on right before I go to sleep. But the last step I'm going to do, I'm using this Charlotte Tilbury eye cream. This is the best eye cream I have ever used in my life. If you guys get anything from this video let it be this eye cream it's so amazing like i can't even describe like i want to get close so you guys can see so like i'm gonna add 
some right here and just watch when i rub this in it leaves like a layer like do you see that it leaves a layer of like moisturization and like hydration i should have said hydration i said moisturization it leaves um hydration on my under eyes and i'm not kidding like when i wake up in the morning i'm like oh my god and i also do it on my eyelid just because like why not i feel like all of this skin over here is like really sensitive so i've been going in with this every single night and i truly love this stuff and then the last step is this osea um sea minerals mist i'm just gonna give a little it's so refreshing it feels so nice i look glowy my skin feels great i look tan <laughs> so that's my little like shower routine self tanning skincare vibe now i'm gonna go cook dinner i'm gonna go make a whole fresh meal i make a whole fresh meal every single night um i don't know why i don't have a sponsorship yet i literally buy it on my own <laughs> not that they have to sponsor me but i'm just saying like i truly buy HelloFresh and I use it every single night for Brandon and I for dinner. Um, so anyway, let's get to cooking. Here is our dinner. Literally meatballs and rice. I wish we would have had the veggies if they weren't expired, but that's the vibe for tonight. Good morning, everyone. I didn't end the vlog last night because I forgot. So it's currently 8 a.m. I'm like so, I don't know. My eyes lately have been watering so much when I wake up in the morning. Have yours been doing that, man? Like when I wake up in the morning, I can like wipe my eye and it's like so, like it's like so much liquid. That sounds so gross. Anyway, um, I'm making breakfast. So I'm gonna make Brandon and I some delicious muffins. These are my favorite muffins ever. And they are strawberry cheesecake flavor. They're the best. So I'm gonna make muffins and then I'm also going to make, I'm also gonna make buttermilk pancakes which i'm very excited about so that's the vibe um of what we're making so i'll show you guys when breakfast is done guys look how cute hello guys i'm in the car we had breakfast this morning i made brandon and i our pancakes as you guys saw and then now i'm going to get my nails done i've had this broken nail since like literally after a week of getting them done last time so it's really bad and Look how grown out they are. Like, they're pretty rough. Anyway, I don't even want to look at them. But I'm going to get my nails done. And I think I'm going to do, like, these cute little, like, sparkly nails. I saved this photo on Pinterest. So I'm going to see if they have something like that. I actually saved this. And then I was like, I don't think that's very me. Like, I feel like it won't look cute. And then Maggie uh, McDonald was in town for Revolve. And she had sparkly nails. And I was like, okay, those actually look really good. Like, I need to do that. It's so cute. So I'm going to see if they have that. I also always get gel extension nails. Oh, my God, this guy. He looks like Justin Bieber. And I almost just, like, she looks like Justin Bieber. And he's holding a little, um, what's the dog that Justin and Haley have? It's like a coke, what is it called? I don't know, but it's like a little, I don't know, but he literally just got out of his car and I was like, I had heart palpitations for a second. Anyway, um, I do gel extensions and they're my favorite type of nails ever. I got acrylic for like 10 years of my life and now I do gel X and I love it. And I go to Butter Salon on Butter Nails and Waxing. It is on Sunset. So I'm gonna go in now. I am back from the nail salon and these are the nails. They are so like extra and so different from like anything I've ever gotten in my life. Everything in the background is so messy right now. I'm literally eating eating sugar fish i ordered this and it's so freaking good like oh my god i love sugar fish but anyway um these are the nails i got and i love them i don't know what the color is it was just like a glitter that they had over a clear coat that i got so that's what it looks like um but i love it so much so anyway i'm eating sugar fish right now it's currently 4 20 and i'm going to eat some lunch i've been editing since i've been home i mean i didn't just get home it's literally four o'clock my nail point was at 10 a.m but i've been home and i've literally been editing and i'm going to eat some lunch probably clean up for a little bit and then i'm going to start to do my hair and makeup so that i can go for alicia's birthday tonight i'm going to go over to my friend nezrin's place first because we're going to go together i'm ready outfit of the night you guys have probably seen this outfit like 17 times because i like re-wear this exact combo all the time this corset is just probably one of the best like styles and fits for me ever it's by danielle gizio gizio however you say it it's got like these i don't even know if you guys can see but it has 
like, you know, the corset vibe in the back. And then I'm throwing this sweater on for now, only because I'm kind of cold. I don't know, because it's like always colder at night in LA and we're going to a club. So I like don't know if the sweater is the club vibe, but I don't care. Like that's what I want to wear. And then I'm wearing these good American jeans. They're my favorite. I wear this combo all the time. I do have a green version of this corset and I really want to get the white one because obviously I feel like I would wear that one a lot. It's just that tonight's theme is neon. So this is like a very bright like neon pink. But like honestly you guys, it makes me look so snatched. Like it's crazy. This corset is so good. Like it's expensive. But I have had like so many tops like this and with the little ties in the back and everything and they just don't work like this is it like this is it I'm gonna link it actually because I think she just restocked this in like other colors and it's so cute My friend Nezrin's she's having like a pregame which I always like go to pregames anyway Because if I'm gonna be around a bunch of people that I don't know and if I'm sober um, I know it would not to you guys it probably like doesn't make sense that this is actually a tip for like if you guys don't drink but like you're like how do you go out and how do you do stuff um this is a tip this lighting also over me is super ugly so i'm gonna bend here this is a tip if you guys like don't drink and you're like how do you do it like how do you deal and go out with all your friends basically like i will always go to like every pregame that there is like even when i was in college they would like have so many pregames before there were like different parties or like going to the club or whatever. I would go to every single one of them and even though I didn't drink, I would always get like a soda while I was there. I always walk around with a drink. That's my number one tip if you guys don't drink. Always walk around with a drink in your hand. I normally go for Red Bull or Coke. Obviously, I love Coke, but I also go for a Red Bull because I'm tired, so <laughs> I get that, but... I walk around with a drink so that people don't ask me, oh, do you want a drink? Or, oh, are you not drinking? Because that's always like kind of awkward. So I always walk around with a drink. Um, but at the pregames, it's really good because you get to like, it. I guess for me, like from my personal experience, I normally when I'm at a pregame, I like meet people that I haven't talked to in a while or people that I've never met before. I get to like, actually get to know them before we go out and they get to know me and like they can ask me questions like oh like why don't you drink or like you know they can kind of like get to know me so that by the time that we go out to the club it's like not a weird vibe like if you just end up going to a party where you like don't know that many people you only know a couple people and you're sober it's always kind of like awkward because you're walking into an environment where everybody is already super drunk Whereas a pregame, you're walking into an environment where it's like most people have only had like a drink or two. They're like hanging out and they're not drunk yet. So like they can get to know you and they'll hang out with you and they'll just like get to know you. And like, especially if you meet them at the pregame and you're like, yeah, I don't drink, but like, I love going out and this is so fun. They're like, oh my God, that's so awesome. And then when we go out and other people are like, oh, do you want to drink? They're like, oh no, she doesn't drink. And they kind of like always have your back. That's just from my past experience. Like. Anytime I've ever gone to a pregame and anytime I've ever gone out with people that maybe I didn't know as well I mean, I know Nesrin well, but like I'm just saying in general, you know That's just a tip from my end because I've been a sober Sally my whole life and I've always gone to parties I've always gone to the club. I've went to frat parties all throughout college sober. It is doable you guys It's like not the end of the world like it is disgusting to like be in some scenarios like there are some frat parties where I look back and I'm like how did I do that like just you know the whole atmosphere not a vibe but like you do it because you want to make friends and like I want to like have fun times and like I was not gonna like sit at home and just like miss out on those experiences and like those like wild nights or whatever like because I didn't drink which I am glad that I've always done that so anyway um, I'm gonna grab my purse because currently nine o'clock so i'm gonna head over to the pregame i don't know how much i'm gonna vlog tonight because i'm kind of like a nervous vlogger around like other people so we'll see how that goes guys we're getting my car out of this automated this so parking <laughs> they are literally hanging out with me to see women the in stem <laughs> Literally to see how my car comes up because which one is it coming from? It's literally B <laughs> It's also two it's, in the morning. Yeah, I was also about to say it is 127 a.m. <laughs> There's no one out here. There's no life alive. But my car, I literally pulled into this and just like dropped it in this thing. Oh, 
You guys, I think it's gonna be in this one, but I parked in that one. So how, if it comes out of here, I'm gonna be shook. Cause I parked over there. How does it, oh, I think it's this one. Right it's here. literally, it's coming out of this one. How, how are you like moving your car around? I know, and it had me like tuck my windows and like, oh. <laughs> <laughs> I love you like getting all these sounds on your <laughs> I'm literally documenting this. <laughs> like what's going on in here? Oh, oh my, my god. god. Wait, so it's gonna say Bay Room. So it's gonna come right here. Oh <gasps> you, <Shut> guys. <laughs> you Wait, guys. <laughs> you guys. <laughs> you guys. I'm not kidding. I told you I parked on this. But you guys, but guys, I parked, I pulled in. My car was facing no, wait, that way. It's not a tilting Your car was facing that way. My car was facing this. Wait, it rotates. It rotates. This is insane. This is crazy. Wait, this is, oh. Oh my God. Okay, hi you guys. It is the next day and I'm in the car obviously. Brynn and I went to the farmer's market this morning and got some more flowers. We went to a baby's birthday party this morning and now we're going home to watch the Grammys but I'm going to end the vlog here. So thank you guys so much for watching. Don't forget to subscribe, hit the red button down below and please turn my post, my post notifications on so you guys can know every single time of when I'm posting because I upload kind of sporadically so also don't forget to follow me on TikTok and Instagram I post so much over on TikTok and on Instagram so thank you guys so so much for watching and I will see you guys next time bye